Welcome to the Intuitive Hour with psychic medium, author, and intuitive life coach, Michelle Beltran. The Intuitive Hour will empower you to learn how to magnify your intuitive voice. Listen in and expand your understanding of what it means to be psychic and how to awaken, amplify, and trust your inner voice. Yes, indeed. It is possible to allow one's subconscious thoughts to flow onto paper without conscious censorship and receive guidance and insight. The human quest for wisdom and guidance drives us to explore many different methods of tapping into our psyche, our intuitive self, and automatic writing is one of them. This method has captivated the curiosity of so many, including celebrities, leaders, authors who have sought out this enigmatic technique for creative inspiration or life direction. While the concept may appear otherworldly, those who partake find automatic writing has been instrumental in shaping their lives and careers and personal growth. Welcome everyone to the Intuitive Hour. We are unveiling the mysterious art of automatic writing. Automatic writing has served as a compass in the intricate landscape of personal and professional life decisions of so many. Oprah Winfrey is one of them. She has openly spoke about its role in her journey to success, describing how she would write out her problems and issues and matters, concerns, and let the answers flow and come to her naturally. This intuitive process not only clarified her thinking, but also instilled the courage to take decisive action setting the stage for her illustrious career. She is certainly not the only one renowned for their groundbreaking contributions to music. The members of the Beatles, particularly George Harrison, experimented with automatic writing during their prolific years. Songs like Across the Universe and Dig a Pony were said to have been influenced by such mystical writing Emily Dickinson, one of America's most treasured poets, is often associated with automatic writing due to her prolific output and the introspective, almost ethereal nature of her work. Throughout her life, Dickinson was known to withdraw into states of profound creativity emerging with verses that seemed to originate from a place beyond conscious thought. Her legacy continues to inspire those who seek solace and transcendence through the written word. And, well, the list just goes on. Poet W.H. Auden, novelist Sylvia Plath, revered poet William Blake, the divine dictation of St. Hildegard, Dan Brown, the author of numerous best-selling thrillers. Each of these individuals, and so many more, have celebrated automatic writing and experienced the massive, transformative power of their subconscious mind through automatic writing. These stories of these illuminaries underscore the incalculable value of opening oneself to the possibility of receiving insights from the subconscious, the unseen, or from the universe at large, in our quest for meaning and creative expression, perhaps it is in these moments of quiet receptivity that the most profound revelations await, ready to be inscribed by the pen of the unknown. The origins of automatic writing, they dig deep into spiritualism and psychology, This technique found its initial proponents during the 19th century, actually, a period characterized by a burgeoning interest in the paranormal and esoteric. 
Its advent is closely linked with the rise of the spiritualist movement and the exploration of the human mind's very vast capacities. Its pioneers included psychologists such as Leonora Piper, Pearl Curran, Helene Smith, all who claim to receive messages from spirits or automatic writing during trance states. They felt this assisted them in receiving information from their subconscious. Their experiences mirrored age-old shamanic practices that involved communicating with the divine through dreams and altered states of consciousness. When we think of connecting with the subconscious, automatic writing hinges on the premise that the subconscious mind is a well of untapped wisdom and creativity. When the conscious mind is quieted or in a state of altered conscious, the subconscious can emerge expressing itself with written words. That's the idea behind this. The significance of the subconscious in automatic writing cannot be overstated. It's the reservoir of forgotten memories, unprocessed emotions, and intuitive knowledge. So by letting go of conscious control and allowing the hand to write, Without deliberate thought, just setting it free, if you will, you can access these deep-seated resources. This practice absolutely effectively bridges that gap between the conscious and the subconscious. The act of writing not only reveals hidden thoughts and feelings, but it can also provide insight into a person's core essence often referred to as one's higher self or that divine intelligence. While automatic writing has its roots in Western spiritualism, similar practices are found throughout history and across cultures. In Eastern traditions, automatic writing can be linked to spiritual practices like Shaktipat in Hinduism and Fofa in Sufism where gurus or spiritual guides bestow their disciples with divine inspiration in trance-like states to guide their hand in writing. Indigenous cultures have their own varieties of automatic writing as well, often involving the guidance of spirits or ancestors. These rituals demonstrate a collective understanding that there are indeed other levels of consciousness and beings within the natural world that can communicate important information to us. All right, let's talk about the scientific view of automatic writing. I have to confess, as a young child watching my mom automatic write, I thought it was a little odd. But fortunately, my novice self grew out of that and understood the knowledge and science behind it. Because we can find ourselves saying, well, how is that possible? Right? So from a psychological perspective, automatic writing can be seen as a way to tap into the unconscious mind, somewhat like meditation. If we look at Freudian theories, which suggest that unconscious material may be conscious through the act of writing, giving individuals access to thoughts and ideas that may have been repressed. When we look at EEG studies, EEG studies of automatic writers have shown that the patterns of brain activity during automatic writing are very distinct from those of normal writing, suggesting that there is indeed a difference in cognitive processing during the two activities. So there are indeed neurological mechanisms also at play here. The specific neurological mechanism at play during automatic writing is not fully understood, but believed to be connected to the autonomic nervous system, the subconscious working with that system through our body down into our hand. The belief is that reduced activity in the prefrontal cortex, the area responsible for decision-making and conscious thought, allows for greater influence from the subconscious mind. We are thrilled to introduce an intimate view of Michelle's journey, one that delves into the harmonious integration of body, mind, and spirit. 
As a 55-year-old athlete forging her way on the exhilarating path of competitive cycling, Michelle is gearing up to participate in the professional women's cycling field this year. Body Mind is an inspiring dedication to exploring the interconnectedness of our physical, mental, and spiritual well-being through Michelle's journey. We invite you to follow Michelle's training and racing adventures. You can get access to her cycling routes, discover captivating images, explore training program details, and even join group rides. Michelle is offering a 30% discount on 30-minute psychic sessions when you follow her cycling journey at Strava. Experience the thrill of each stride and pedal through her Strava feed. Get all the details at michellebeltran.com slash body dash mind. All right, let's dive into how to practice automatic writing. It's quite simple. With its roots both science and spiritually, Practicing automatic writing can be an intriguing and insightful endeavor, as we've talked about, so let's dive into that process. First and foremost, create a sacred space. We always want to have a place we can go to to shut the door behind us, wherever that is for you. Just choose a quiet, comfortable space where you won't be disturbed. Creating a ritualized and sacred space for automatic writing helps us establish the connection between the conscious and the subconscious. And then, when you begin this process of going into your sacred space, you're letting your subconscious know it's on duty. It's about ready to work with you and for you. Next, relax your mind. Meditate. Breathe. Whatever relaxation techniques you have, do them. Relax your body, your mind, your spirit. Let all thought release. Breathing is an exceptional way to do this. Breathing in, deep belly breaths, and out. Releasing what's no longer serving you. Making an agreement with your subconscious self that all the to-dos of the day will get set aside. And that way we're honoring those important things. We're just setting them aside. You might listen to some hemisync music, particularly the delta wave hemisync. This allows us to tap into those deeper subconscious states and brain waves. Now you'll prepare to write. You might want to set a little timer or clock for 8 to 10 minutes. You might want to play music. This is inspiring for some. Pick some of your favorite music, set the timer, and begin with a clear intention or question. Clear and concise, not a paragraph, not two or three sentences. For example, show me what I need to know now about my career. Clear and concise. And begin writing unabashedly. The key here, don't stop. Keep moving. Keep expressing. Keep writing. This focal point can guide the starting point for your automatic writing session, whether it be a spiritual inquiry or a desire to unlock some massive creating creative inspiration ready to be released. Now then, the act of writing. With your pen and paper at hand, I find it helpful to keep the pen close to the paper. There's somewhat of a connection that's happening there with the paper and the pen. That's a personal recommendation. You may or may not choose to do that, but I do find that it assists in the flow. Continue now to write without consciously thinking, as I mentioned. Just flow, just write. Don't stop. If you stop, the left brain tends to think. This is not about the left brain. It's bigger than you and I. It's beyond us. No thinking allowed. Just express. Let the words flow naturally without filter or judgment. If you feel an emotion, write it. If you hear something that matters, 
right in. Use all your senses. This is a crucial moment. The point is to maintain the unbroken connection between the subconscious and the physical act of writing. Last, when you're ready, review your writing. That may or may not be when you end. You may take some time to finish and come back to it. But once you feel that the session has concluded, do review it. You may be very surprised by the clarity and the depth of the information that has come forth. In some ways, it's like a dream. We've all probably had that very odd dream that we didn't know the meaning of when we woke. But then in a day or two or just hours, we had that breakthrough knowledge and knowing. So look for patterns or themes that may indicate a message, insight, or symbolic meaning. Moving on now to interpreting the messages received through automatic writing. This is where your discernment comes in, where you're discerning between the significant and the superfluous. You might revisit at this point the episode here at the Intuitive Hour on how to discern the difference between a thought and a psychic download. Keep in mind that your messages of automatic writing might come through symbolism and metaphor. Learning to interpret these in the context of your life and the intention you set can provide a wealth of personal insight. Remember to trust your own sense about the truth of what you're receiving. You're looking for clarity. So when a message is unclear, continuing the practice of automatic writing can often provide more information and more clarification. So go back in, do this again, and investigate. Ask a more clear and concise question. And over time, patterns will emerge that will help you understand the language of your subconscious and any other forces that might be at work. Applying the insights, that is the ultimate aim of automatic writing. It's not mere divination or channeling for its own sake, but the application of insights gained and then applied to your life. They're here to serve you, your growth, your journey, your wisdom, your relationships, your life choices and decisions, acting on creative inspiration that you have, or fostering new understanding of your world around you. Moving on now to ethical considerations of automatic writing. There are indeed some that I recommend. Anytime we delve into the unknown, we want to think about this. I recommend first and foremost the very paramount process of protecting your space. So create a protective bubble of light, calling upon guides or support systems. If you work with archangels, bring them in. Setting up specific intentions to protect the space energetically and yourself from any negative or unwelcome influences that might be curious or try to interfere is always a good practice. Remember to be discerning of the interpretation. And by the way, that reminds me here at the Intuitive Hour, there is also an episode on symbolism and how to interpret that. But using discernment in interpreting the information you receive is so very important. Just as with any intuitive process, automatic writing can be clouded by personal biases and desires. So always approach your findings, your information, with a gentle, observing sort of eye, allowing the information to come, not getting pulled into it emotionally. Just receive and observe. And last, closing your session. Be mindful of closing each automatic writing session consciously. Just the way a person might say amen after a prayer. There's a closing, an offering of gratitude 
to this process, the higher your intuitive self, your subconscious mind, this helps you ground back into your everyday state of awareness. The simple closing is the message to your subconscious you are complete. Automatic writing offers us a profound method to communicate with the unknown aspects of ourselves and the universe. By tuning into the powerful undercurrents of our subconscious, we can open gateways to understanding that were previously inaccessible. So as you embark in your automatic writing journey, remember to approach the experience with an open heart and a clear mind. The wisdom awaiting you is as boundless and intricate as the cosmos and its revelations can guide you in transcending the limitations of the rational mind. I hope you enjoy your experience. On that note, we will bring this episode to a close. I also hope you have enjoyed this episode as a whole. As always, everyone, if there are any questions or comments, about this episode, any others, the intuitive hour, suggestions you might have, we welcome them. Feel free to email at mbeltran at michellebeltran.com. Have a wonderful week ahead. Thanks for listening to the intuitive hour. Michelle is thrilled to roll out the body mind space with an intimate view of her competitive cycling journey with engaging content on nurturing the body empowering the mind, and enriching the spirit. Visit the new Body Mind Space now at michellebeltran.com slash body dash mind and learn how you can get a 30% discount on a 30-minute psychic session simply by following her training and racing adventures on Strava.